my name is Alejandra Leiva, I'm a Kangoo Jumps trainer and manager for Kangoo Club Canada and especially I'm my favorite thing, I'm the director of the Kangoo Kids programs here in Canada. So today I'm going to talk to you about what kind of stuff you need for your after school programs or lunch programs or summer camps when you're running Kangoo Kids programs overall. So I'm going to show you the material that we have and I'm going to show you how we get organized for the summer. Now, a lot of people ask me like, why do I need this equipment or what do you use this equipment for? Uh, the truth is that there are tons of different things that you can do with this equipment. But the most important reason why we have all these things, besides having all the games, I think it's important to have equipment because if you have equipment, you get better ideas of what to do. If you walk into a room and it just has like it's just empty and it just has white walls it's hard for you to imagine the things that you could do but if you walk into a room that is full of paint and stickers and colorful stuff it's easier for you to be creative so this equipment is not necessarily for specific activities that we do even though we do use them for a lot of different activities it's more so that you have everything that you might need for your programs and you have more options of how to use them. Now it is important to take care of what brands you use and what quality of the equipment you use because you want it to last you a long time. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna show you the brands I use and I've been doing this for six years, like specifically the kids program. So I go into a lot of hoops and balls and dies and buckets and all this equipment so the brand that I'm currently using is a brand I really like and that it lasts a long time so I'm gonna show you that one because I think that you should give that one a try now how do you keep the kids interested or how do you even start with your Kango Kids program aka Kango Discovery program well the first thing you need to do is buy your own boots so if you need your own boots, just send me an email and I can place that order for you. And then I'm gonna show you all the equipment that I use and how I keep them interested. Well, the key to the success of our programs has always been that we always keep it different. So they don't do the same thing twice. And by doing this, we keep it short, we keep it simple, and we keep it fun. Kids change a lot, like they change their minds a lot. They start liking one thing and it's the best thing ever. And then after a couple of weeks, they decide they don't like it anymore or they only want pizza and all of a sudden uh, pizza is the worst and they want to eat something else. So don't take it personal if kids change their mind and if they get started with you and all of a sudden they're not as interested, it's just the way kids are. So the best way for you to give them interest that is to always change it up because then they never know what to expect they don't know what games they're going to play they don't know what kind of equipment you're going to have and that keeps it really really interesting for them and one key thing I would say is music always always have good music with you most of the time what they listen to is 92.5 or whatever their parents will listen to on the radio so try to download music from the radio so that you have the music that is currently playing because that's what they like, that's what they listen to. I think the most, I think the one thing that instructors don't realize is that it's not really a facet class, this is a fun program. So if you're too strict or if you focus too much on what you're doing, especially if you're an adult instructor, you're used to all the adults working hard and putting their boots on and getting at it right away and they're with you for months so they stick with you even for years. But kids are not like that, kids are just there to have fun, kids like to try different things so try to just do fun different things. And we usually play two to three games in an hour because we don't want to do, you want to change the game when the lights are still shining I always say. So you want to change the game where they still want to play it. You don't change the game when they don't want to play it anymore. Because if they, if you wait, wait until then, then by then you will lose the engagement of the class. So always keep it fun. 
when they're enjoying the game, don't play a game for any longer than 25 minutes to half an hour before you switch to a new game. If you would like to know more about the games I play and how I run my program, then don't forget to send me an email or you can always just comment down below and I will be happy to help you and give you more information. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about the Camp Kids programs is that you need to make sure you label everything because you might be at schools or different locations so you want to make sure that everything has your label on it so I have everything with the Camp Kids information and my website of course because I want people to identify me easily. So. Number one, uh, you can see right there I have the speakers. I chose those speakers because they're loud, they're portable, they're affordable and they're also okay for the kids to use because I used to have the other Bose but I want something that I won't freak out if the kids drop it or you know if someone knocks it over. So this is a great little option and it's loud enough for the kids. Let me show you all the equipment we have for the summer camp. So we got these cones. These are great for marking everything and wherever you're going. These are great for little obstacle courses. So we got six of these cones. Now I will leave a link down below of the website that I use and you can contact them and just let them know that you contacted them just me and that will make the process easier. Then we have these little cones. I love these ones. They're great flow markers and they're great for any activity. So these are just cones and I use them a lot just to put the balls on top whenever we're doing any game. And uh, you also have a bouncy ball. So you always need bouncy balls. We buy about, I don't know, this time we have about 30 of these bouncy balls. So so it's good to always have bouncy balls because they are so practical for any game that you might do. Then we always have chalk with us, it's great to have for games. We play hopscotch with them or sometimes we do little rallies or stuff like that. Now very important, these are dodge balls. And it's very important to have good dodge balls. And you can use any other ball besides the dodge ball for dodge ball because they're made of a special material that even though they're heavy and they're easy to throw, they are very squishy so that the kids don't get hurt if they get hit. So make sure you use the right equipment, the safety of the children is important. So dodge balls and I usually buy eight dodge balls per group. Then I'll show you, these are some of my favorites, these are floor markers. And we use these little seats for obstacle courses and to tell the kids where to go. So this is how we indicate what's happening next and where to go next. Especially when we're doing some drills or obstacle courses. So we use this a lot. Then we got some skipping ropes. So I have about six skipping ropes. And this is talking about a group of 15 children. And then we recently bought these new brand of uh, balls and I will leave a link down below of the mark of um, the brand that we're using but these balls are awesome. One, they're rubber but also they're very heavy so they're good to throw but they're also bouncy so it's a good combination of everything you need and I really like the size because it's good for the kids like it's easy for them to grab them so we got that. Now we have a dice right here one with numbers and one with different activities for them to do for example we have knees up we have jump on one foot squats jump side to side so these dice we use for a few different things one of my favorite things to do with them is roll the dice and then we build a dance together like a choreography together and we do the number of repetitions that is here and the activity that is here so it ends up being a good little mini boot camp for them so it's very very good for them and a very good exercise then I always have extra socks with me because it's summer kids wear a lot of flip-flops and they forget their socks so 
I'd rather have some extra stuff with me in case they need them. And I'm going to show you the other thing we have is these hula hoops. Now, for the hula hoops, I try to have at least, oops, they fall out. I have at least one per child. And again, you want to invest in good quality hula hoops because if you buy cheap hula hoops, they're not going to last long before they just are all bended. So, I'll make sure you have good quality hula hoops. And let me show you one more thing, uh, these pin bags. We love pin bags for her games because they just make everything easier and we play with the pin bags for capture the flag or sometimes we even play balancing games where we put the pin bags on top of her head and then we try to run with the boots on without the pin bag falling. And I try to keep everything on a certain spot so the kids not to pull it away. The most important thing about the kids program is one, safety, two, make sure it's fun. Okay, this program is all about teaching children to have fun while they're exercising. So my best advice uh, for any kids program is keep it fun, keep it simple, and keep it colorful. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing that we have. So before we start any camp, we always have a calendar of where we need to be and when we need to be there. And we just mark down all the dates and where we are going and how many shoes we need and what equipment we're gonna be using. And the other thing we make sure we have is all of our shoes, which you can link, uh, click on my video down below where I teach you how to maintain the boots and make sure they're all in good condition for our programs and then I put little stickers on the boots so that it's easy for the kids to identify their boots throughout the session and that's it that's basically what we do we order a lot of colorful stuff we make sure we use it all there's a lot of games that you can play with the food hoops there's a lot of games that you can play with the different kinds of balls we have the other thing that we try to have with us are basketballs. I just don't have them on me right now. But make sure you buy this equipment and just make a fun use out of it. Be creative with your games. But remember, always be safe. So whatever it is you're playing, make sure it's safe. Now, if you don't know what to do and you're not sure of what games you should play, just comment below or send me an email at alejandra at kangoclubcanada.com and I will be happy to help you and give you some ideas. We also do have certifications about this, so if you would like to get certified and you would like to know more information about how you can become a Kangoo Kids instructor, also send me an email or you can even call me at my cell phone, which I will leave on the comments down below. And that's about it. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope everyone has an excellent summer. We are ready. It took a long time to get all the boots ready and to get all the equipment ready. But we're set. We're ready to go. We're very excited. And we hope to see you all on our summer camps. And I don't know what you're waiting for to start with your own kids programs. So until next time, have a bouncy day.